Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video is going to be kind of a tutorial. I'm going to try and make a tutorial for this background that I did on this page. This is um, a page from Coloring Heaven's Gothic Fantasy Special. With, it's all featuring Ennis Guerrero's work. I pulled the page directly from that magazine and I've I mounted it onto some watercolor paper. And I did this kind of distress, grungy type of background with watercolors and salt and some alcohol. I posted it up on my community tab and I posted it up and also in some Facebook groups. I got a, quite a few people asking me how I did it. So I thought I would make a video for you guys today showing you what I did and how I achieved this grungy, distressed look in the background. Now this was the first time I ever tried doing this. I had watched some videos on YouTube to get an idea on how on how to do it. Hopefully I'll be able to achieve the same or similar results again when I do it for you for this video. Did this with watercolors. Well let's I'll tell you what kind of what, what you're gonna need to get started. Um, you're gonna need some watercolor paints. I'm gonna be using this Myling set um, as you can see, I've used it quite a lot. <laughs> it's pretty messy. This is just going to be a fun kind of experiment we're going to do today. You're going to need some salt. I have some table salt here. That's the, I use table salt on, in this page. Um, you can kind of see that's the little spots throughout the page that look like the water hit it and, you know, kind of expanded, like crystallized out, if that's even what um, it's called. But but you can also use all different kinds of salts. There's, I have this sea salt that's in the bigger kind of rock forms. We'll give you different results. Use whatever salt you have around the house. And then as for the alcohol, I use some alcohol on there too. You don't have to do this step. I put some alcohol in this into the Spectrum Noir um, sprayer atomizer and I sprayed some of that on the page as well that's where you kind of get the blooming effect over here a little bit and then I also used some water see I made sure I labeled the alcohol and the water to make sure I don't get them mixed up this is just I just put some regular alcohol that you get at the drugstore you probably have it in your medicine cabinet in the bathroom at home and then I just put some water I would spray I sprayed some water where some spots got dry I sprayed water on it again and then maybe I would throw some more salt or alcohol on it so it's not anything by the rules we're gonna do here I'm just gonna throw some paint in the background and see what happens I don't think you'll ever get the same results twice with this kind of background elements we're using we're using salt um, water, alcohol. So don't get discouraged if your results come out different than mine. I did try it out a little bit before I jumped right into doing it onto the actual coloring page. This one um, is the just the regular Morton's table salt and then this one was with the larger sea salt crystals on this page. So I like, me personally, I like the results of the liner table salt. The page we're going to be working on today for this video is this one. This is another page that I actually, oh, it's about to be a big thunderstorm guys. So you might hear some thunder in the background. So sorry about that. I pulled this page from this Coloring Heaven Junior magazine. This is Fairies and Friends. This is all Molly Harrison's artwork. So I pulled this one because I thought it was kind of similar in effect to this one, how it has the moon here and you got some nice empty space over here to work with. I'm going to try and do what I did here more or less. You know, like I said, we're probably not going to get the same exact results as the first picture, but we're going to try and see what happens. I have already prepped this page. So it's ready for applying the watercolors. I think I applied two layers of gesso onto this page. And 
I use this Art Basics Clear Gesso. We are gonna be using a lot of water in this background. Keep that in mind when you're picking out a page to do. Make sure whatever paper you're gonna try it on is able to withstand a lot of water. I know a lot of coloring books, you can't really use a lot of watercolors, but what I've been doing lately is I've been taking my pages either out of the book, um, like this Coloring Heaven magazine, I just ripped it out right out of the magazine and glued it onto this watercolor paper, or I've been printing out my pages onto some cardstock and then mounting it on to the watercolor paper. Basically, I'm just going to jump right into doing the background with you guys. I probably will speed it up a little bit just so it's not a super long video and I'll try and do some voiceover. So fingers crossed, hopefully it'll be close or similar to my first try. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm starting off with some yellow around the moon to try and give it a glowing effect in comparison to the darker colors I'm planning on putting around it. I really should have put more orange between the yellow and the purple since yellow and purple mixed together will make sort of a brown color. But oh well, I, I'm, I'm gonna blame it on the thunderstorm from earlier. The rain will sometimes make my head a little bit fuzzy. I also forgot to tape down my page to keep it laying flat. So I got a little bit of spillage into the center. You can always apply some masking fluid or tape to the parts of the page you don't want to get any paint on. I'm not really so concerned in this instance because I'm planning on coloring the rest of the page with colored pencils. So I can always go right back and cover up any mistakes that I'm making. Here I'm just adding in some darker colors like blue, darker purple, some black. Now to add the salt, this is the fun part. I think the wetter the paper, the more dramatic of an effect you're gonna get. So you can play around with it um, and see what you like best. If you like a more drier page, um, more salt, less salt. Um, I'm also spraying on alcohol while the page is still wet, but you can also go back and spray it afterwards and see what kind of effects you get that way. Um, it's up to you. This is not um, any strict rules we're doing here. We're just having fun. I decided to throw on the larger sea salt crystals onto the page as well. I figured why not, we'll see what happens. I'm also spraying on some more water.
we'll let the page dry for a little while and then we'll come back, remove the salt and see how our background comes out. Okay, so I think our page is pretty dry. You can kind of see here how the salt kind of sucked up some of the moisture from the paint and all the water we sprayed on while we were painting. Now we have to remove all of the salt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take this and dump out some of the bigger pieces here over the garbage can. And then we're gonna come back and really remove the salt that's really stuck onto the page. All right, so I got a lot of the excess salt off the page. And basically what you're gonna do now is you need to get all of this salt, scrape all the salt off. I've seen some videos where people will just wipe it off with their hands, like scrub it off with their hands. But a couple of videos I saw, they use the back end of a paint tube. To me, that seems like the best way to do it. You kind of have to be careful. You don't want to do it too hard because then you're going to scrape your page or make scratches in your paint. And you don't want that. So I think I've gotten rid of most of the salt from the page. I might have added too much salt. I might have gotten carried away a little bit putting the salt on this time around. Uh, and you can always go back in afterwards and tweak some stuff here. Like I think I might go back in and with some water on my brush and try to blend those colors in a little bit better here. And maybe over here a little bit, I might add some more waters. You could always go back and add more colors, more salt, whatever you I want. I thought it was fun, a fun thing to try. I'll, I'll probably try it again. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to do um, the moon. You might look at the moon and be like, oh, this doesn't look so great, this moon. But I'm gonna go back in, I think, and try and blend this out more. Maybe add a little bit lighter yellow to the section over here. And these little bugs I'm going to probably add some stickles on top to it. So, and maybe even some stickles on the moon too. I might do. That's what I did with this one. I added a lot of stickles on top of the moon and a little bit around. All right, you guys. So I was just going to end the video here with the background tutorial, but I took some time right before I went to work today. It's the next day. And I ended up finishing, being able to finish coloring the page fairly quickly. I just did with some alcohol markers and a bunch of stickles and star joy gold. And I did a little bit of Prismacolors around the moon. You also see I ended up doing a lighter yellow wash through for the whole moon. And I did put some more salt down. So you'll kind of see the little white splotches a little bit there from the salt. And I just did a frame with some washi tape and I trimmed out the excess from the watercolor paper. So I'd love to hear your comments down below and let me know if you think this is something you would like to try. It is a little bit messy with the salt. I'll get, uh, I will say that there's salt all over my desk currently. I have to clean that up after this video. But it kind of, I think it gives it an interesting kind of look to your backgrounds. I usually run out of ideas when it comes to backgrounds. I usually just do a chalk pastel if I do anything at all. I, this looks like something I would like to try more often, especially since I'm really loving playing around with watercolor paints. I think that's all we have for today in this video. If you have any questions or any, or if you have any ideas for me, let me know down below in the comments and I hope everyone has a really great day. Happy coloring and I'll see you next time.